previous video that when the women started going to school and they started getting educated they became doctors teachers and they also started writing about their own lives and the lives of the other women so this all was not liked by the orthodox people whether they were hindus or muslims this were not liked by the orthodox people the orthodox hindu men felt that this will have a corrupting influence on women many of the nationalists they felt that women are adopting the western ways of life and this will erode the hindu culture and that will have a corrupt influence on the hindu culture and that will erode the family values so that's why the hindu nationalists were not happy with women's education similarly the muslim men or the orthodox muslim men were also not worried about these changes but by the end of 19th century the women uh, themselves started uh, for their own reforms and they started writing books they started editing the magazines founded schools for schools and training centers we have studied how um, pandita ramabai started printing press uh, and carpentry work so they worked for their own welfare and they set up the women's association so this was necessary for the women for self help then by the early 20th century uh, many of the women formed a political pressure groups because they wanted to push through laws they wanted to make laws for the benefit of women and especially for the women's uh, suffrage that, that means uh, for women's voting rights uh, and they also wanted better health care and education for women and for that they wanted laws to be made and now uh, many of the women also joined various kinds of socialist and nationalist movements uh, like you might have heard about sarojini naidu she also uh, entered into politics and she was an active member in the national movement so from 1920s onwards we can see women also entering into politics by 20th century the leaders like jawaharlal nehru and subhash chandra bose they also lent their support for the women's movement they also felt that uh, women uh, need freedom and they should also uh, have equal status in the society so they extended their support for the women's movement many of the other nationalists they also promised uh, that full uh, voting rights will be given to men and women uh, after independence so till then they asked the women to concentrate on the national movement and anti british struggles so uh, for till then they wanted them to participate in the national movement and once independence uh, is uh, attained then they will uh, give voting rights and other equality to women so in this way the, they were able to influence the political leaders also.